Hello there, Kyle Katarn here. I've got something kind of cool to look at today. Um, some never before seen footage from Star Wars 1313, which is a long since canceled video game that was in production back in like 2011, 2012. This game was going to be awesome. Um, it was going to take place on 1313, which is a level deep in the underbelly of Coruscant. 1313 looked like a really interesting game. I'm sad it never saw the light of day, but now we've got some new footage to take a look at, so let's do it! In honor of the Vault Project's sixth anniversary. Oh, look at this. This is Boba Fett gameplay. It's a cool environment. Yeah, you were supposed to start the game by playing as some random bounty hunter. And then you get, like, killed by someone, and it turns out it's Boba Fett, and you play the rest of the game as him. Nice. Interacting with the crowd. Oh, this is dope. I would have loved to play this. Oh, nice. We're doing some chasing. Look at this unfinished environment. Oh, they're in a slaughterhouse. What do you know? We just saw one of these in the latest episode of Book of Boba Fett. Uh, Larry Niven style ring world. This is really cool. Nice. Hell yeah. It would be really cool to see someone, uh, some artist like Cinematic Captures, re-render this. You know, try and complete it just so we could get a finished look at what it might have looked like. This is cool. I always like chase mechanics in games like this. So much is already developed, like the skybox is there. Look at that background, that's awesome. It's charming now when you play like a LucasArts game and you see that like static picture for a skybox. It's, there's something quaint about it that I really like. The gameplay is cool. It's like it's, it's combining like parkour with... I'm sure there's a big shooting element too because it's Boba. Nice. I notice he does not have a jetpack. Nice! That was awesome. Star Wars 1313. Oh, there's more. Cool. This game had a ton of potential. Yeah, it was in development in 2011, which is the same year that BioWare launched the old public, just for a frame of reference. Melee fight animations. Some twangy music. Yeah. Um, really makes me like wish that the game had come out because this was all really, really cool. Um, it's always fascinating to see like the, the inner workings of a game before it actually gets finished. Normally, because you've played the game, and it's like, oh, cool, you can compare and contrast it with the final product. In this case, there is no final product, unfortunately, to, con to compare it with. Um, this game was in development as early as 2009 at LucasArts. Um, George Lucas also wanted it to tie into the live-action Star Wars TV series Underworld that he was producing at the time. That also never saw the light of day. Pretty recently, some footage surfaced from Star Wars Underworld, and it looks like it was actually going to be a pretty impressive feat of filmmaking. Unfortunately, the technology wasn't quite there yet. Ironically, um, things like the volume, which John Favreau and Dave Filoni are using to film the Book of Boba Fett and The Mandalorian and things like that, is exactly what George Lucas was envisioning in his head, but he just didn't have the technology to put it into play. And so Star Wars Underworld was never finished. Star Wars 1313 was one of the last projects left at LucasArts when the Disney acquisition happened. Um, and apparently, according to inside reports, the game was actually in trouble even before the acquisition. Uh, however, it was on the list of projects that were axed. Um, and so, we'll probably never get any more information about 1313. Now that LucasArts has kind of be been reconstituted under this new flag of Lucasfilm Games, 
maybe we'll finally get some more development on this game. Um, probably changing a lot of the narrative and story elements to adapt them into the new canon that, that Disney has established. Um, but who knows? Maybe we will see a Star Wars 1313 game in some way, shape, or form in the future. Maybe it would have to do with B Bad Batch. Maybe it would have to do with uh, the Clone Wars Season 7 arcs where Ahsoka goes down to 1313. Since we've seen it, you know? Getting to see uh, never-before-seen footage from a game like this is a treat, but it's always kind of bittersweet as well, because I really wish the game had come out, because I feel like I would have really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the never-before-seen Star Wars 1313 Boba Fett gameplay. Uh, check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about 1313. Would you like to see this game still come out, and what sort of changes do you think would have to be made to fit it into the new Disney canon timeline? There's a link in the description of the video to the Calcatarn Discord server, which is a great place to stay in touch. You can also find me streaming four days a week on Twitch as the Grizzled Wizard. And if you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash channel, which is where you'll get access to things like full-length reactions, early access, content polls, and a couple of Discord perks as well. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.